This is gonna be a great video. I just have a good feeling. We're all I'm here together. <laughs> We're gonna get copyright <laughs> even just from that. Copyright strikes come. They're like, that sounded too much like the original. We're gonna take money. That was harmonized. <laughs> As you can see, the crew is all together. We are in Chicago. We are coming up on the tail end of a long weekend of work, getting all the fragrances ready for the Zed Creators 2.0, ready to ship to you guys. Our fingertips are sore, our backs are sore, everything hurts. We have eaten a lot of food, we're bloated and farting and, <laughs> and everything, but we're just so happy to be. Why did I say that? I don't know. The... <laughs> anyway, today we're doing a video about quality. Oh. Fragrance quality. We're gonna keep it simple. Mm. We have five fragrances. We have a mix of, I, I'm not even gonna say what we have a mix of. Five fragrances. Their job is to smell them blindly and assess them based on how they smell. And, and not just like, oh, I think this is gonna be expensive. Like, no, how does it actually feel to you? Just based on that. We have four different price ranges that they're gonna assess each fragrance. We have under $49, $50 to $99, 100 to 199 dollars and then 200 plus so their job is to try to guess what they think the lowest price available is for each fragrance that could be a discounted rate however you want to call it if they happen to guess the actual retail range then they're going to get a half a point but if they do guess the lowest range they're going to get a full point mm -hmm. so simply at the end whoever has the most points they win <laughs> they very much it's a nice prize. We're gonna win a pat on the back. <laughs> so, you guys need to turn around now. Okay. Turn around. <laughs> here we go. So, guys, here is the first fragrance. My life is so obnoxious. <laughs> What's the fragrance, Daddy? Alrighty, you may yeah. turn around. Mm, it smells good. For mm. you. For you. For you. Thank you. Sir. Mm. Oh. I'm sticking with my gut for every one of these two, and I already know what I'm gonna say, but I'm gonna wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You seem confident. You mm. can't go first. Set the bar. This does not smell expensive to me in any way, shape, or form. Okay. I could be wrong here, but I think this is in the sub $49 category. Ooh. I'm coming out firing here. Man, you are firing off. Full clip. I, I could be wrong here, but on the paper, there's a synthetic nature to this that I don't think I would get above $100, even at retail, for a designer. I don't know, it's just something about it. Like I said, I'm sticking with my gut. I could be way off here. It's just the immediate instinct that I get from this. Okay. Is this is something that can be found discounted heavily. It may be retail for a great price, but I feel like this is something that could be found sub $49. Okay. Ross is... It smells good, though. You know, Ross's assessment, 49 and under. All right, who's next? Andrea? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Okay, I don't think it's over 200. Okay. It's not that range. Okay. I also think it's not 49 and less. Okay. So, so I am in between. Somewhere. Yeah, okay, okay. okay. I'm, I'm trying to, to think. Hmm, this could be from a niche brand. Okay. It doesn't smell cheap to me. Okay. It has something that a niche fragrance will have. Hmm. So. What do you mean by that? That's a great. I, I like that. I like that idea. Yeah, I, I don't also think changed. this is a designer either. Okay. So I would say. It's a very interesting way to describe it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put this at the hundred dollar and between hundred and hundred ninety nine. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. Cool. And actually, before Anthony goes, the opening blast smelled cheap to me, but I'm changing my answer to the exact mm -hmm. same price point. Actually. Mm -hmm. Oh I yeah. That. It drastically has changed, and I actually think there's a chance that I know what this fragrance is now that it started to dry. Okay. So I'm changing my answer. I have the same answer. My Same as me. Yeah, I have yeah. the same All answer. All right, 100 to 199. Kay. I jumped the gun. Anthony. So I'm glad I went last because it's kind of developed, as mm -hmm. Ross said. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Kind of started off scent profile, smell, pleasant, designer-ish. Okay. Okay. Kind of gave off like a cola, cinnamony kind of mm, vibe, fresh. Okay, okay. I also have a feeling of what this fragrance is, so I'm gonna play the game here and say <laughs> that this is above 200. <laughs> You're going to bed. Final answer. Locked in. I'm trying to win. Go hard or go home. So. Final answer. So Final locked answer. in. Yeah, yeah, okay, totally. I'm locked in. So Ross said this was between 100 and 199, falling in line with Andrea. Mm -hmm. 
Anthony said it was 200 plus. The fragrance. I'm so curious. Is from Soradora. Winner. It's called Broselian, and this is 200 plus. This is <laughs> What? This is why it what? smelled familiar because he wore this today. I did. He, and that's I why it I smells figured familiar. it might smell a little different on paper, but the overall profile is there. As it started Fine. drying, it started getting yeah. familiar, and I'm like, wait, 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 I'm way undershooting this. That's why I, changed my answer. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you said it smelled cheap to you at first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this it retails for I think around 205 bucks. I think it's 200 euros. About $205, that's before shipping and anything like that. <laughs> um, I couldn't really find it much cheaper than that, at least for, you know, the searching that I did. Hey, so. at least we were close. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, no, no, you are right on the cut. I saved the little <laughs> face there, because I was like, wait, 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 I screwed up here. Let me so change right, it before we lock it in. You still didn't get no point. <laughs> no. <laughs> so well, I'll, so I'll get you there. on the second Anthony one. Anthony gets a point. You know what, I want to I wanna instill a new rule. rule. <laughs> Okay. Now this is the rule. I'm gonna give you the option to guess the price. Oh. oh, okay. Okay, the actual price. And let's say if you get within $10 of the price on either side, you get three points. Okay, Ooh. okay, okay, I like okay. that, I like that. So that could be the Hail Mary that could save the game for somebody. Yes, yes, so you can, cool. you can just go for it. Ready? Oh, let's like move ready, on ready. to the next, okay. let's, do it. let's discard those. Here's the next fragrance, guys. All right, I'm gonna give it a spray, a couple two tree sprays. Two tree sprays. Okay, turn around. Oh, you? excuse me, sir. Oh, you are excused. Let me hop in this frame. Hmm. 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 And just to be, I guess, more specific. Again, you can still get points for guessing the retail versus the the lowest price. So, if you happen to decide, oh, I think this is really cheap, then if you decide to guess the price point. And you get near the, re the, the the discount price point, then you still get points. If you decide to guess and you're around the uh, actual retail price point, then you still get points too. It's definitely niche. I disagree. I could be. I mean, either one of us could be wrong, but I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Very invigorating. It is a little invigorating. Yeah. So who's going first? The winner of the previous one. <laughs> that sounds like yeah, just based bad. off Justin's silence, probably not niche, but I'm gonna stick with my guts. Go with your guts, man. Yeah, it's like kind of minty fresh, but it has like a something in there, earthiness or woodiness that mm. kind of makes it unique. It's interesting. I like it. I don't really like it. I do. It's my kind of fragrance, okay. I think. Okay. But yeah. I think there's enough in there to make it uh, 100 mm -hmm. to a 199. I could see this being on a discounter for like, you know, 119. Okay. Something like that. Okay. That's what I'm going to go with. Okay. Man, that's some thoughtful <laughs> assessing. You just kind of <laughs> sifted through all the layers and this is what I think. This is what I think. <laughs> It's very familiar fragrance. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Very familiar okay. fragrance. I think so too. <laughs> Can I go? Yeah, yeah go. I'm gonna agree. I'm okay. I am between 100 to 199. Okay. Maybe could be 200 plus, but mm -hmm. I would stick with 100 mm -hmm. to 199. Yeah, just because this doesn't smell cheap to me. Okay. And it also doesn't fall into the designer category to be super uh, like 50 to 99. Exactly. Okay, so I see what you mean. Definitely niche. Mean. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what you mean. Yes. So to me, I'm polar opposite of these two. Yes. I don't think it's sub 49, that's not what I'm saying. But I do think it's a designer that can be found at discounters. The way everything's just kind of blending together and nothing's really jumping out at me, I don't feel like there's the complexity and quality of what I would expect from Niche. This is how it smells to me. I feel like there's a familiarity to it, almost like this bitter, salty type of accord going on and there's not a whole lot that I can pick up separately from it. A little freshness, obviously the woody tones they were speaking of. I do get that, but I don't feel like anything's kind of spreading apart. That's why I'm feeling designer. I think this is every bit of a 60 to $70 fragrance, so I'm going 50 mm. to 99. Okay, so we got 50 to 99, and you guys are both 100 to 199? Yeah. That's the lowest price point for this fragrance. Okay. What are you trying to I say? think that was him just giving y'all a hint. Yeah, what are you trying to say, Justin? No, I'm just trying to <laughs> re I'm just trying to reinforce the objective here. Yes. Right? Okay, yes. so turn around, doing? I'm gonna get the bottle out. I want oh. you to see the other ones. So this is from Hermes. Oh, this is called L'Ombre de Merveille. So it is designer. So this fragrance retails on Hermes's website around 150 bucks. Damn. But you can get it on the discounters around as low as 40. <sighs> 
Sub so 49. I was sniffing no in the direction. Nobody? Nobody, Nobody gets a point. All right, so as you can see, I passed Justin, as well as the others on the screen. We forgot about the part of the rules that says, if you guess the retail range, you can still get a half a point. Even though the objective is the lowest price point, you still get half points for guessing the retail range. We forgot to do that, so forgive us. Hope you still have a good time. Thank you for understanding. Carry on. <laughs> I was in the direction. You I was thinking overshot. 60 to 70. You overshot. Interessante. That's a good choice for a designer. Hermes is like kind of, you know, I wish you not said, as mainstream as other designer houses. <coughs> I wish yeah. you would have said as low as 50 because I would have just got three points because I said 60. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. Uh, you know, honestly, I also don't love this fragrance. They only list three primary notes: incense, that seems to be a trend tonka with them. bean, and tea. Does you have any citrus in there? They don't list it. I think yeah. there's some. I get like a soapiness yeah. and like a weird kind of fruitiness. That's the fruitiness I was. Yeah. Right. yeah. But they only list those three notes: tea, incense, and tonka bean. Okay. Apparently, but interesting. Yeah. yeah, they've been doing that lately. And All, it's right. Still good. Yeah, it's answer, All right, so we still got Anthony with <coughs> one point. Good. Turn around. Okay, we're we good. It's good. It's good. What you think? It smells like earthy and spicy. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'll go first. Yes. Go ahead. It is not under $49. Okay. And it is not fifty two ninety nine either. We're crossing them out, guys. All right. Interesting. Process of elimination. So it sounds like this is smelling of a higher quality. Yeah. Leaning that, that way. Too. Okay. This is difficult it because is. This you have a, a you have different tastes than most when it comes to designers fragrances. <laughs> <laughs> so I they. It kind of smells niche again, but I feel like it's going to be a designer. Is it a trick? <laughs> trick or treat? Like exactly the way <laughs> Anthony is Trick or treat, guys. Trick or treat. This is a very odd fragrance. But listen, I'm just going to go with my gut of how it's it's a blind sniff right now. Yes. What do I believe this yeah, is? Right? Yes. right? What does it smell like? The feeling. It oh. doesn't smell cheap, man. Okay. It doesn't smell cheap. No, man. Okay. <laughs> the more I smell it, mm -hmm. Kind of reminds me of a hair removal wax. Mmm, <laughs> oh, delicious. Wow. There we go. <laughs> yes, hair removal wax. Very niche. This is not pleasant. Mm. So, yeah, you see like what I'm saying? Why would a cheap uh, like fragrance be like, <laughs> let's make a fragrance that smells like uh, hair removal wax? That does sound You know like what I'm saying? It's not niche enough. Too. Ouch. So, Ouch, guys. Oh, Justin, man. Do, you, do you enjoy this fragrance? I do. Okay. You do. On skin, it must be better than I will that. say, okay. and that's one thing I did mean to say earlier in the video. Obviously, this is not a realistic way of experiencing these fragrances and truly assessing them. We're obviously just having a good time. Yeah. You don't want to smell up close on paper because your skin is not made of paper. I like this when I wear it. Mm -hmm. When it's around me in the air and I'm catching wafts and Grace yeah, yeah. actually loves it on me too. But up here like this, I don't really enjoy it quite as much. So I, I, see, I, I feel see. you guys. But that's beside the point. It doesn't Do I think I know what this is. I think I know what this is. And I've never smelled it, but I think I know what it is. Okay. It smells damp. All right. Hmm. Like wet leaves. This is okay. 100 to 199. Okay. No. I'm going some 49. It smells cheap to me. It's unique and different, but it doesn't smell of quality. Okay. To my nose. I'm saying retail designer, $120 specifically. Retail designer? Wow. Retail price, $120. Designer. It smells like tea, herbal tea. Mm. Come on, Justin, just say it, please. Give me a <laughs> Turn around, let me get the bottle. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Okay, so just to turn around. So just to reiterate, Anthony says sub 49. Yeah. Dagger to the heart. Cheap. Ross is saying 120 specifically. specifically higher in designer. Yes, and okay. Andre gave the right price. answer. <laughs> <laughs> right? So this fragrance is from Precious Liquid. It's called Tobacco Royal. You can't get it everywhere, so therefore you can't really get it discounted. So the cheapest you're going to find it is about $245. Wow. So we all lost? We yeah. all lost. Yeah. Yeah. Two hundred plus. Me, man. That's not what I was thinking. It was obviously, but it didn't smell hey, very niche to me. On but paper. didn't I say I'm between those two? 
Uh huh. Between, I said. Congratulations, you still don't get a point. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, dude, you didn't say you didn't say two hundred plus. I said I I um. Well, you were starting to go in that direction. Yeah, but then I fell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry you. Sorry, failed. my wings didn't didn't take game, me up there. This game is a challenge. It I'm really sorry. is. Oh man, this, this is a is, challenge. This is. It's it's kind of ridiculous when you think about it. But it's so fun. hard. Because yeah. if you spray this on my hand, I feel like I'd have a much better time yeah. at figuring out what the so hell's going on. This is like I get. I think there's like an apricot. It's like a, a dried fruit feel. There's something that's a little spicy bit bitter here, sweet. though. There's definitely a warm spiciness, and yeah. obviously there is some kind of leafy tobacco. So you're leaning that way. That's the earthy when tone. You're I was feeling getting. that perfume by Richard Herpin. I think it's a lovely scent on paper. It might fall flat. I've heard great things. So guys, again, this is not how you're gonna <laughs> find out if you that like your fragrance. All right. So so far, Anthony is still leading with one point. This is fun. This is fun. This we is have two fun. more. Yeah, I like this. We need to do more of these. Every now and then I'll try to get a copyright strike for <laughs> Oh, wow. What a good friend. Oh, yeah. Sexy. I, I really like this one. Mm. Mm. I want to tongue kiss a woman right now. <laughs> over well, there, you, Well, you got, you got one in the vicinity, oh, there. I must say. Slight iris in here. Hmm. I can see where you're coming from yeah, with that. Yeah, I don't think so. I can see I where you're coming from though. with that. Powderiness. It's powdery. There's definitely some powder. Crispy. I feel Crispy. like it's, I feel it's, like like it's more it's violet. Like it like goes through your nose. Mm. I feel like it's more of a violet. Sure. But that's not the point of the game. I need to stop you. Stop <laughs> We're assessing quality. Yes, yes. How does it feel I'm not to trying you? to do a first impression. Yeah, how does here? it feel to you? Who wants to go first? Who hasn't gone first in a while? You haven't gone first in a while, bro. This one's a challenge. I mean, all of them are a challenge. What am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's be realistic here. <laughs> yeah. This one's a tough one because I don't think this one's above two hundred dollars at all. Okay. I don't think it's below forty nine. It's somewhere in the middle, but I'm trying to figure out which side of the middle. <sighs> My gut's telling me fifty to ninety nine. Okay. Just need to go with that. Fifty to ninety nine. It could be a lower level niche, possibly, or it could be, you know, something designer. It's really difficult to tell, but that's my gut for the price range. Okay. I'm gonna lock it in fifty to ninety nine. Great. All right. And specifically, just for the Hail Mary, I'm gonna say seventy-five dollars. Okay, Ross. Yes. Got to try. Man, you're just the gears are turning. Got to try. Call me, Mr. Anthony. Oh, I need more time. <laughs> <laughs> this one is. This one's something. So, man, these are all such. Like, I like this one though. Weird scents. Are they all uh, male unisex scents? What is that Do you smell? have any female thingies in here? I feel like it's some violet. I cannot. Well, can I tell you? Is I it would... mixed? Or is it just? It's mixed. Ducks. It's mixed. Yeah, it's definitely like unisex. It has like, oh, is it clove? It's getting a little creamy. But also like a soapiness. It's kind of weird. It's kind of dusty, of powdery to my nose. I got soapy and powdery floral from the Floral, top, yeah. You know? It smells like a old wood cabin. Are you gonna go or should I go? You go, baby. I think it's uh, 49 <laughs> and under. Cheap. What the hell is this? It's very nice. Okay. But yeah, I nice. don't think is at the 200 and plus. Okay. I also don't think it's a niche fragrance that goes into the 100, 199. Or okay. even if it's a designer that is on the high point, it's not that. So it's either 50 to 99, or you can find it for 49 and less. Okay. In a discounter. Okay. So I'm okay. just gonna say that is uh, 49 under. Okay, that is a sound assessment no. that you just made. Okay. Anthony. I do like it. Mm. Mm. That's a man that wants to win right there. That's a grunt of go. perseverance. Just remember, if you think long, you think wrong. I'm gonna go 100 to 200 mm. or 199. Okay, so it smells of higher leaning quality to you. You definitely seem to describe it as something different, which doesn't always mean higher it, quality, but it could, it could go hand in hand. I I'm all over the place. It, this is kind of reminding me of Umbrella for Two by Floraiku. It has a mm. kind of gourmand quality now. I've tried that. Okay, I see where you're coming from. Wow. With that feeling. Turn around and grab the bottle. I feel like I just made four points. All right, everyone, turn around. So. I hate this game. Ross, you said it was between $50.99 and then you took the Hail Mary. $75 specifically. Okay, you did $75. Okay, Andrea, um, you, you went to $49 and, and under, under as a discounted price. That's yes. like the lowest point. Yeah. Anthony, you think it's 100 199 in that niche realm 
you know, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Which is not. <laughs> okay, so, so this fragrance so. is from Cajon. Oh. This is called I'm a Moi Comme Je Suis. I wore this the other day. Oh. So this one of us <laughs> just won. <laughs> so this point. fragrance is in the 50 to 99 category. Come and, on, 65. And, and about the cheapest I could find it is $77. <gasps> Four points, baby. Yo. Uh, <laughs> took the lead in one shot. <laughs> And stretched it. <laughs> wow! Like stretched, like, it, stretched it to the gods, man. <laughs> oh my gosh! When I you, turned around and said, "I feel like I just made you, four points." When you did that, when you said the seventy-five, I was like, "Shit!" <laughs> <laughs> He's doing it. Okay. Wow. It's, okay. It's really nice, though. So, what's what in floral this? is in this? Well, the main notes they list are tobacco, hazelnut. So you're right. in the that gourmand. gourmand quality and vetiver. That's it? Those, no, that's not oh, it. Those are the main notes. I can't remember what else could be in there, but I, I do like get something I get the nuances you guys are talking about. I get something kind of creamy, creamy, floral, a little buttery in there perhaps. And it was soapy at the top. A it little bit, could be yeah. It's actually it. really, really nice. Yeah, it's a very handsome scent, but it is a little different. Yeah. It's not, not your average, like, let me just smell clean no, today. It's fantastic. Kind of scent. Yeah, it's so warm. It is kind of sexy, I gotta say. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it. With the woodiness, when it dries, it's real nice. I like it. Okay. Cool, man. We're into our final fragrance school. Yeah. You can turn it around. <laughs> Somebody. Turn it around. Somebody. <laughs> mm. Rosie. Okay, turn around. Ooh, I feel like I know this. This is nice. This is very mm. nice. It seems familiar. You guys are really showing it's a spicy, your spicy, ambery, it's strong. strong. It is very strong. Yeah. I meant to warn you. I'm, I'm feeling spicy, ambery rose. That's how it comes across here. Okay. Some mm -hmm. herbs, maybe, in the backdrop. Not a first impression, bro. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. <laughs> it's actually, it's like kind of the reading yeah. in my head. Yeah, this is fantastic. This is the best fragrance of the video to me. Wow. I love this. Okay. I'm, oh man, this one's definitely 100 to 199 price point. I don't think it's over 200, but it's definitely not a cheap fragrance. It is something of niche quality or a very high level designer smell on this paper. It's one of those two, okay. but that's not the game. I think I'm specifically gonna say this is in the 150 price range and 100 to 199. Okay. 150 specifically is the price I'm saying. Okay. Yep. I feel like this fragrance is a trick. <laughs> it probably is. Or is it a treat? <laughs> <laughs> it smells like a treat. <laughs> it's a trick. Could be. Might be 20 bucks. Go, Mr. Anthony. I need to be more Nicole, time with this one. Based on your feelings. Yeah, that's one. I'm going to check my notes here. Resume. <laughs> go, crazy. Ah, 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 go stupid. Ah. Oh, man. These are all so different. Yeah. This is good, though. I really like the last one, but I really, really like this one. I just look weird. I was just down on the floor for a second. <laughs> Where'd you go, Justin? <laughs> you know, to the basement to check my notes. It smells like dove soap <laughs> and some spice. I, I can kind of see what you mean. I've never. Like just plain white dove soap. <laughs> I don't like it. I know there's some people who are really upset. Maybe, maybe not, not, no, 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 not, not a lot of people. Though. I feel like I'm about to I get four say, more points. I would say there's not a lot of people. <laughs> mm, that's a clue right there. That, that was. It really was. I would love to get this Dove soap bar. <laughs> Just saying. You find a bar, soap bar that smells like this? Please let it's me know. It's very potent. It is very potent. Yeah, I agree. I'm going to go 200 mm. and above. I feel like this is something with like a cult following that's like super expensive. Based on the hint. <laughs> Based on the hint. Or. Please, guys, that was not a hint. It was. <laughs> the last thing I want to do. Clue. Look, the last thing <laughs> I want to do is, is sabotage <coughs> or mislead. So do not take that as a hint. But it was kind of a hint. Yeah, I don't like Cause it. Because it's a trick. <laughs> 200 and above. That's how it feels. Like, that would be the cheapest you could get. I just want to make sure that you're not going off of anything I said. Yeah. Okay. Okay. To me, this is not 200 and plus. Okay. It seems like, yes, it is very potent. It's very strong. It's kind of unique as well. So it's not 49 and under. It also doesn't fall into the 1599. I'm between 15 to 99 to the 100 and 199. Okay. This might as well be a very well duplicated fragrance of something else. Could be a duplication of something else. Hmm. Like a very good 
Okay. You Could know? Be. Okay. Man, I'm torn. This is hard, guys. I hope this you guys realize how difficult challenge this it really is. is. But it's fun. This is because yeah. we've never done this format before. Mm -hmm. It's impossible. <laughs> You want around, man. It's not possible. I, I would say it's between 100 mm. to 199. Okay. What I will advise you guys, this is the last round. I was going to say it too. Like, so you know, I, I, would, I would take a Hail Mary if you can. What does that mean? That means like try to guess a price point within, guess. within the range. I would try to guess a price point. Just because it's the last round, you might as well try to get points on the board. Because look, if you nail it, Andrea, and I don't, me and you have a runoff we have to do. One it's between 100 to 140. Give me, it has to be one price. <laughs> uh, Again, it can be within 10 on either, either side. 120. 120, okay. Turn around. Okay, you can turn around again. It's creed. So, Ross, you said Please remind me what you said. 100 to 199, specifically 150. 150. Okay. And Anthony, you think it's 200 plus? Yeah, man. Okay, because it smells like this is some... And you said it was like a cold kind of following fragrance, which you are right. We'll get to that in a second. Andrea, you did a lot of deliberation, <laughs> and you landed on between 100, 199, ah, 100, 199, and you went for 120 as the price point. Okay. So this fragrance is from Guerlain. This is called Hot de Rouge. Oh, wow, cheap. This is the Eau de Parfum. And? First, yeah. first of all, I will say you can find this discounted for in the mid $50 range. Mm. Okay. Mm. Guerlain retails it on their website for $145. Three points. All right, so here we go again. More inconsistencies. Great job, Justin. Just wanted to come in here and add some clarification to the true point structure based on what the rules are. Actually, there is no real difference in the outcome of the point totals. Only difference being that Andrea and Anthony would both each have an additional half a point. Anthony having one and a half points total, Andrea having half a point total. So in the end, Ross is still our winner. So Ross gets three points. Seven, <laughs> baby. Did I, I, I said 140 at the beginning. Yeah, I know, I was like, I was like, good pick one, pick it. Pick it. <laughs> Pick oh, it. Man. I love how that smells. I've never tried it. So this is a very complex fragrance. Is it rosy? There is rosy yeah. in there. There's carnation in I there. I know There's about it. Yeah, yeah. Never it lots of wood. It's kind of a weird fragrance. It's getting a lot of vetiver now. There probably is. There yeah, probably is. Yeah. A lot yeah, of woods. Green. Yeah. It's like rosewood or something. There's a lot going on. It's very strong. Yeah. I cannot believe you can get it discounted for as low as you can, but wow. and but I understand why Guerlain Girl. sells it at the yeah. price they do. Yeah. I mean, it is a cult classic. The original it's has around been around since like the time. 60s or wow. something like that. Yeah. It's an old scent profile. Oh, I get carnation immediately. Yeah, it has that old school feel. Some people have said this smells like a deck of cards. That's <laughs> like a Bears. new deck of cards. Which I kind of, that actually put me off from not of getting it. Cool. Yes. Classic. Anyway. So, Ross came out with seven? Damn! Seven points. Anthony had one. Andrea, I... we're, next time we do it, Zilch. you're going to just destroy it. Yeah, because, yeah. you know, you had to go through the fire. Now, I've never I'll just, even... I'll just do better next yeah, time. Yeah. I've never, <laughs> I've never done this myself. So, yeah. I still have yet. I put I my family... I haven't seen this format. I did a video like this with my family last summer. And yeah. I put them through hell trying yeah. to guess. <laughs> but it was fun because they don't have, you know, noses yeah, like this. this. Yeah. So, they're just like, oh, it smells like, you know, some guy in the locker room. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like, sadly or something. I was like... <laughs> Dang it. Anyway, you guys did a fantastic job. Thanks Yay. for being good sports. That was so much fun. I didn't that mean to make you sweat time. quite that much. Oh, I'm sweating. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Confidence it was a good time. Is key. So you're either gonna suck or you're gonna win. Guys, I want you to let us know have you tried any of these fragrances? What are your thoughts on them? And let us know if you'd like to see another video like this in the future. We'd love to do it. I'll put myself on the hot seat next time because that's not fair. I felt <laughs> bad halfway through. I'm like, I'm <laughs> having too much it was fun because I'm not doing anything here. <laughs> it was a blast. <laughs> so anyway, thank you guys. I'm gonna have their channels down below i didn't even say your names but your names are on screen and you know who they are if you don't where have you been but subscribe to them down below if you have not already and thanks so much for tuning in peace we'll see Bye. You next one. have a good one